that represent the youth that come from the states. But also they have put a request with a threat that will keep them from this room. Not only the independence of this country is a testimony of the role of youth in the country. Following the independence of South Sudan, we need to refocus our youth attention to the nation building priorities in order to build a country as a home for all its people. This is important because in any society, youth possessed potential and is skilled to undertake leadership roles. For young people, we need to make them work. And what do they need to work in? Bringing in money. It's about sustaining their livelihoods. And once their livelihoods are sustainable, it will be easy for them to engage in nation building. And that's why it's important for us. The first thing to do is to engage the youth. Let us make them work. Let them have practical ways of doing things and we need to do this quickly. It needs to come fast because we are in the process of post-conflict reconstruction. People need to go down there to young people and get to know. We need to meet, when we say cattle wrestling, we need to identify who are these wrestlers. Even if it means talking to one person at a time, we'll have to do that. We need to deal with these people one at a time. Then the last thing that we need to do right now is unification of youth voices. We should not hear out our views differently. We should speak as youth. It is not this group that is right or this group that is right. We need to come together and have one voice so that we address the issue of a youth who is not taken care of, a youth who is not able to express him or herself. One miss in facilitating these forums is hoping to strengthen the nexus between the people of South Sudan from the national level to the sub-national level and in doing so to advance a common vision towards achieving sustainable peace. I want to congratulate you participants for the efforts in tackling the role of identity politics uh, and in working to reframe the narrative that will support a peaceful future for South Sudan.